In this video, I'll show you a simple editing technique for adding finishing touches to your photos. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.2.1. Here's a typical scenario when I would use this technique. I'm pretty much done editing, but there's a couple of things I want to touch up. The first thing I'd like to do is to darken the shadows along the forest edge and the forest's reflection on the water. I'll add a curves adjustment. I'll close the dialog since I won't be making any adjustments. Now I'll set its blend mode to multiply. That's too dark, but no fear. I'll apply an empty mask to set things right. From the layer menu, I'll select new empty mask layer. The empty mask has made the curves adjustment invisible, so the photo is back to where it was. What I'll do is paint on the mask using a gray brush of varying shades. This will let a little bit of the curves adjustment show through, which will darken the shadows. When working with masks, brush color is all important. A white brush will let all of the curves adjustment show through. A light gray brush will let most of it show through. A darker gray brush will let less of it show through. And a black brush will let none of it show through. To illustrate, here's an image consisting of two pixel layers, the blue background layer, and a layer containing a light blue square. Imagine the light blue square is the curves adjustment. I'll apply an empty mask to it. As you can see, the square has disappeared because an empty mask is painted all black and black lets nothing show through. I'll make sure the mask is selected and grab a paintbrush. I'll start with a white brush. Wherever I paint, the square shows through completely. Now I'll change the brush color to light gray. The square doesn't show through as much. Now a darker gray brush. Even less is showing through. And finally, a black brush. I've erased everything since black lets nothing show through. If I turn the empty mask layer off, the square is still there. I'll expand the curves adjustment layer to make sure the mask is selected. For this technique to work, all painting must be done on the mask. I'll select the paintbrush tool and set its color to light gray. I'll make sure hardness is set to 0%. I want a soft brush for this. Here's the difference between a hard and soft brush. The indistinct outline of the soft brush stroke on the bottom allows it to blend into the surroundings better for a more natural look. I'll paint on the forest. I'll adjust the size of the brush with the square bracket keys. It's darkening the shadows quite nicely. I'll turn the curves adjustment off and on so you can see the difference. Maybe a bit too dark. That can be easily fixed by painting with a darker shade of gray. All right, that's better. Now I'll paint on the reflection on the water to darken it. I'll avoid the lighter areas. That'll help them stand out more. I'll turn the curves adjustment off and on again. Not bad. I'll name the curves adjustment Forest and Reflection so I can easily reference it later if I need to. I'll just double click where it says Curves Adjustment and type in the new name and then press the return key. Next I'd like to darken the clouds. 
I could use the same curves adjustment, but I'll add a new one just to keep them separate. That's just the way I like to work. Like before, I'll set the blend mode to multiply. And I'll apply an empty mask by selecting new empty mask layer from the layer menu. I'll make sure the mask is selected and paint on the clouds. I just want to darken them slightly to give them more body. I'll zoom in to get a closer look. Holding down the Command key, Control key in Windows, I'll tap the plus sign key to zoom in. I'm just looking for mistakes, but everything looks fine. To show how to fix a mistake, I'll make one on purpose. I'll change the brush color to a light gray and paint on the sky. That obviously looks wrong. To fix it, I can simply change the brush color to black and paint over it to erase it. And it's gone. A handy feature of working with masks. I'll zoom back out by pressing Command-0 or Control-0 on Windows. I'll turn the Curves Adjustment off and on. That works really well. I'll name this one Clouds. For a final touch, I'll lighten the sky's reflection on the water. Again, a curves adjustment. But this time I'll set the blend mode to screen, which will brighten things up quite a bit. And again, I'll apply an empty mask. I'll paint on the water with a dark gray brush. I'll just paint on the light areas. I think that looks good. I'll turn the curves adjustment off and on. Very effective. I'll name this one Sky Reflection. I'll hold down the shift key and select all the layers I added. Now I'll turn them off and on so you can see the total effect. Very nice, subtle but effective. So that's a quick and easy way to add finishing touches to your photos. Thank you for watching.